I'm Saroj, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to check and set the max connections parameter for Amazon Relational Database Service for MySQL instance. Let's get started. By default, maximum number of simultaneous database connections varies by the DB engine type and the memory allocation for the DB instance class. In an instance where the total RAM is 16 GIB, or 17 billion 179 million 869 thousand 184 bytes the variable instance class memory automatically subtracts the amount reserved to the operating system and the rds processes that manage the instance the remainder of the subtraction is then divided by 12 million 582 thousand 880 bytes which result in maximum connection number of around 1300 depending on instance type instance size and the db engine let's go through the steps that you can take to check the current value set for max connections in your amazon rds for mysql instance after logging into the aws management console navigate to the rds console then select the rds for mysql instance which is a dbr5 large instance type in my example to get the endpoint details and port number from the connectivity and security tab here i will connect through the mysql client and create a new connection to run the queries on the rds for mysql database when the connection is established to the mysql database i will run this query to check max connections current value in use. To increase the max connection parameter value of your Amazon RDS for MySQL instance, follow these steps. Make sure that your DB instance is using a custom parameter group to modify any parameter values. If your RDS instance uses a default parameter group to modify and use a custom parameter group, please see the how do I modify the values of an Amazon RDS DB parameter group article linked in the Knowledge Center article associated with this video. To edit your custom parameter group, go to the configuration tab, scroll down to the parameter group section. In my example, the custom parameter group name is Max Connect on demo. Next, in your parameter group, search for Max Connection parameter and choose Edit and set a larger value for example, 1500. For more information about how to select the best new value, see the default max connection value documentation linked in the associated Knowledge Center article. You can also scale your DB instance up to a DB instance class with more memory to support your simultaneous database connection requirement. Please note that downtime occurs when you modify an Amazon RDS DB instance. Let's review the following best practices when working with max connection parameter for your DB instance. It's a best practice to scale up the instance class instead of changing the instance class value because of other major memory consumer such as the buffer pool. If you are using performance schema, then it's a best practice to leave the max connection setting by the default value. By default, if you enable performance insight for an Amazon RDS for MySQL DB instance, then performance schema is also automatically enabled. When you tune the max connection parameter, always review MySQL connection related parameters such as wait timeout, interactive timeout, net read timeout, net write timeout, max execution time, max connection errors, and max user connections. So now you know how to increase max connections for my Amazon RDS for MySQL instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.